There's nothing like seeing life inside a bird nest box, and today's smart nest boxes make it easier than ever to observe. Today we're going to open up and take a look at a new smart wooden birdhouse from Cam Park. I get a lot of uh, you know, request to review smart bird houses and smart bird feeders. And uh, really I'm just reviewing ones from companies I already have a relationship with. Cam Park, I've been taking uh, some amazing videos with their trail cameras going back six years. Some of the uh, videos from my Cam Park trail cameras have millions and millions of views. You know, they're a company that'll stand behind their product and you can get up to a two-year warranty on this. So let's take a look at it. It's a small birdhouse and everything you need comes right inside the birdhouse. So it's a pretty <laughs> simple packaging. Real nice uh, solid thick wood. Looks like about three quarter inch. And the size of this birdhouse would really be ideal for chickadees, wrens, things like uh, house finches or you know small nesting birds. And, and really those are kind of fun birds to have around. It has kind of a cedary smell. I'm not sure if it is cedar or not but it's really a nice quality wood. That's a nice little birdhouse. And what I like about it is it's totally organic. It even has a little wooden catch here for the door. Opens up for easy cleaning and it has a little screen down here. Now most birds are going to bring their own nesting material. About the only birds that don't bring any nesting material are woodpeckers and owls. I would just leave it like this and let the birds bring in their own nesting material. What usually happens with any kind of organic birdhouse like this, it's going to age with time and actually they tend to look better as they age. Get a little weathered look on them and it has a, a bit of a predator guard here. Now this is a wooden predator guard. Squirrels have a tendency to chew on things. They may or may not uh, chew on that or that and it's really too small for squirrels. If you have a big, bigger nest box you definitely want to get like a metal predator guard. It also has two covered light forts on the side here and that's kind of nice it won't bother the birds and it'll allow in enough natural light that you'll be able to get really good uh, daytime views of the uh, birds with these uh, side ports you get plenty of light in there in the daytime and get good quality video so that's the nest box i like i like the little nest box as far as uh, what goes with it it's really quite simple so here's a little camera package with a three megapixel high definition camera and uh, of course it has motion sensor and IR lights for at night, a speaker which is two ways you can either listen or talk on it, two white lights that you can use but you don't want to you want to use those rarely if ever inside a nest box uh, because especially at night it'll disturb the birds. It doesn't have a battery in it so it's real light because it doesn't come with solar power so you don't have solar and you don't have uh, battery what you do have is a 16 foot long USB cable and an adapter for the power. In order to power your system this has to be plugged in all the time within about 16 feet of a socket. So you've got 16 feet of cable and you plug it in like this, plug it into a 120 volt outlet and then you plug this into your camera. Now it has to be in, in the range of Wi-Fi and I took it outside and I tested it out and I got you know even though it doesn't have an external Wi-Fi antenna I got a range of over 100 feet just like I've gotten on all the other smart bird feeders and smart uh, bird nest boxes. Pretty good signal coverage. So when you unplug this it turns off and when you plug it in it automatically turns on and then it just stays on and records continuously. But the interesting thing is because it's a constantly on network camera you can actually run this on OBS and stream this live on YouTube which uh, really kind of took me by surprise. I kind of discovered it by accident uh, when I plugged it in and I'm, you know, I'm getting ready to broadcast the owls and an unidentified camera showed up and sure enough there it was live and then I tested it out. Uh, you can broadcast this camera live on YouTube and I'll show you that at the end of the video how it's done it just real quickly. So the way this works it's real simple to install. You run the cable through this access hole here, like that, plug it into the back of the camera, and the camera comes with this kind of neat little magnetic uh, mount on it. It takes up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card, and so you can store everything on local storage. You don't have to depend on the cloud, and then there's a reset button in there. Then you just simply latch it on to this real strong magnet in here, like so. Simple way to mount the camera. It's kind of ingenious actually. I've already hooked up the uh, camera to the house Wi-Fi and we'll put in this little porcelain penguin just for something to look at. Close the door and you turn on the Tris Home app that comes with it and there's the live view of the uh, penguin in there. So that's what the installed uh, camera looks like in the box. Very easy to install. 
Now as far as waterproofing, it's basically waterproof in here, uh, but the place where you plug in the USB socket to an outlet is not really waterproof and it has to be within a close range of an outlet of about 16 feet, a nice long USB cord. When I think about this cute little nest box and the idea that you would get like chickadees and wrens or other small cavity nesting birds in here, I really see this as being a nice little birdhouse for like on a deck or a porch or something like that, and especially when it has a nice natural organic look to it. So what I think I'll end up putting this permanently is on my deck up in the mountains, which covered, and there's always small birds looking to make a nest, looking for any little cavities that they can find. Sometimes little birds will nest in the strangest places, so if you have little birds like chickadees and house wrens around, you put this on your covered porch or deck, there's a pretty good chance you'll attract them, so I think that's where I'm going to put it. The cute little nest box comes with some simple instructions and of course these smart bird feeders and bird nests are usually pretty straightforward. I haven't run into any of them that have a big problem with hooking up the cameras to your home Wi-Fi. And again, because it uses your home Wi-Fi, you have no recurring data charges. It's a very simple uh, way to mount it. Now, what I would do, you can see there's a, like a lot of nest boxes, there's a, a mounting hole here. This is probably the way I would do it. Just put a screw like that into a, a wooden deck post or a wooden uh, part of your uh, porch. So you just plug it in and you download the uh, Tris Home app onto your smartphone. And I actually already had the Tris Home app on my phone from using an earlier uh, SV Bonnie bird feeder. And the app works fine, so I've already added it. But when you add something, you just hit the add key and then it'll give you uh, what you want to add. And then it'll step right through and you can add it. Now I've already added the camera and it was real simple. You have to give it your uh, Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi network password, and then it generates a, a QR code on your phone. Hold this camera in front of the uh, QR code and then it automatically connects. And it's really just simple. In a matter of like two minutes, I had this thing up and connected. Okay, so I just easily put the camera right back into the box with its magnetic uh, base mount, real simple. And I've got it uh, centered in the box and we can put uh, our little buddy the penguin back in there. Close it up and there you go. It's all set to go and you can record manually and you can also you want to select full uh, HD when you record if you want to get the highest uh, quality recordings. It's not required to uh, subscribe to anything to use and enjoy this. You can just have it saved to your up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card. So then you can just go to uh, card replay and you can see replay everything in there and uh, download it. For example, I can replay this and then there's also a uh, option to download it right to your phone. And nesting, you don't want to disturb him. So that's why you want, I think you want to put in a 128 gigabyte card. Because sometimes the nesting process may last uh, a month or more. And so you don't have to take the card out to get the data. You can get it from the card and download it to your phone. And there's the final setup of the camera in the uh, Tris Home app that comes with it. You can see I've got it centered to where you can see all four sides of the box clearly. The camera is designed to focus at that range, so it's pre-focused. There's nothing to focus. I've mounted the smart birdhouse about 100 feet away from the Wi-Fi router and through several walls in the house. It's basically just a little bit beyond where all the other uh, smart nest boxes and bird boxes that I've tested are with, that have uh, external antennas. This one has no external antenna but gets a really strong signal at this distance. Hey buddy! And you can see you would, this is just a test location I put it because if you put it on a fence like this the squirrels would find it. I'm running it right now with just a uh, USB power bank anchor. So in summary, it's a very uh, small, cute, uh, wooden, organic looking nest box for small cavity nesting birds like house wrens and uh, chickadees and the like. Very easy to uh, install a camera and hook it up to your home Wi-Fi network. There's no recurring charges when you use your home net Wi-Fi network. The quality of the video looks really good. It's uh, 1920 by 1080 and of course it has IR lights for uh, nighttime vision. Now obviously I'm checking this out now, it's uh, mid-February so I don't have any nesting birds here. And then uh, what I think I'm going to do with this, because I think this is ideal for porches and decks, is I'm going to take it up to the mountains when I go up there and get it up there and get, hopefully get a uh, chickadees to nest in there. And the whole idea of the smart bird houses is to have a lot of fun. And I'll follow up later, and then uh, hopefully we'll be seeing videos of some birds checking in there. And of course, when the season's over, you want to clean the nest box, and this is real easy to clean. And finally, as I promised, here's an example of me simply broadcasting live from inside this nest box.
With the included camera on YouTube, using the free OBS Studio software and YouTube Studio. Because it is IP addressable, you can get the IP address for the Camp Park Nest Box from your home Wi-Fi management software or phone app. Then connect to the Nest Box camera by creating a new media source, deselecting local file and entering the correct IP address into the source input field, and then saving it, and then creating a Nest Box scene and hitting transition. Then you enter your YouTube channel's secret stream key into OBS and you'll be able to go live. Now this will require you to go to school a bit on YouTube and OBS software, but most people can figure it out, and there are tutorials online. This nest box was not designed for this, but it was a very pleasant bonus surprise for me, and I'm an expert in this area. It does work, but obviously neither I or Campark are going to provide tech support for this function as it is not advertised or promised as a function. It's one of those fascinating things that if you're really interested and motivated, you'll figure it out as I did.